Libras! Welcome to your love reading July 22nd to the 31st. Sorry, I, I did Gemini earlier today and they were had a different timeline. Anyway, Libras, hi! How are you guys? Um, so tapping into your energy for my newbies, I always go through a meditative session and then the pre-shuffle, then I get into the actual tarot reading, okay? So meditating on your energy, I got a couple really interesting things. So the first thing I saw were clouds, which was really, really cool. Uh, Libras, I feel like you guys have really ascended in your energy. At least you're feeling a lot more ascended from where you've been, okay? From where you've been. I'm also getting that sense of like daydream, fantasy, um, almost like star card kind of energy, like really, really honing in on your dreams, what you want, your wishes, and making that happen. I'm also getting traveling energy as well with that. You could be getting on a plane somewhere and going somewhere with the, seeing the clouds and whatnot. Um, the next thing that I saw was a turtle which was really cute. It was actually a turtle on a beach. Uh, and turtles are all about wisdom and about wisdom with planning shit out. Wisdom with approaching life and approaching certain situations, okay? And then when I when I saw that on a beach, first of all, if you're traveling, you might be going to a beachy area. Take me with you, please. <laughs> I know I'm in Los Angeles, but you know, take me to a tropical beach. Tropical beach is more my kind of beach. But anyway, um, with, with this turtle energy, Libra, pace yourself is actually is what they told me and then they kept repeating pace 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 it's all about the pace whatever dreams you want to make happen whatever success you're trying to get for yourself you can do it just pace yourself don't try don't trip up trying to get a lot of shit done at once or trying to get steps one through ten done like all in a one week like really pace yourself and set up whatever it is you need to set up properly especially if it's a business or some kind of you know career endeavor or project of, sort, of some sort, definitely take your time planning. And again, you could be planning a trip. I get a lot of travel energy around you, Libra. I don't know what that's about. A lot of travel energy though, uh, which does feel good. Uh... Libra, I feel like you're really isolating yourself. I was getting a little something. I feel like you're really isolating yourself here. And I feel like it's because you are so focused you're so focused. And for those who have a plan, like who have an idea, you don't you don't really want to share it with people right now. And I don't think you should. Honestly, if it's career related, don't share it. Just keep it to yourself. <laughs> it's a very smart idea. But <clears throat> I'm also getting this energy of like, I'm not going to let anybody ruin this for me is also what I was getting with that. So I feel like you're not really sharing it because you also are probably around a lot of judgmental people or people who are going to try to shoot it down or make you feel shitty about it. So like, you know, that's just another reason to not say anything. If you know that people are going to be like, that's dumb or why would you want to do that? No point in listening to those people anyway. Sorry, guys, I need a little bit of water. Gemini messed up my throat chakra. Mm. Oh, okay. But Libras, I think you're on your way to success. Just pace yourself. Pace yourself. And also, if you feel like, su su like success is coming at you really fast, like faster than you think you can handle it, just take it one day at a time, okay? Just take it one day at a time. You're going to be fine, Libra. So let's get into the pre-shuffle, which by the way, I have a new deck. I've had it for a while. I just felt the need to break it out today. It's called the Spell Spellcaster's Deck. I will be putting a link down below if anyone's wanting to buy it or purchase it. I just get all my decks from Amazon, but I know some of you were like, no, just like I want the very specific deck you bought. So I just put the link down there to make it easy. Um, the book is put away, so I'm not going to pull it out for you, but it's called the Spellcaster's Deck, okay? So we have the Sun, Leo Energy, Spotlight, six, I'm getting a lot of success with this actually. Spotlight and success, we are in Leo season. There's gonna be a lot of Leo energies in the readings for the next couple weeks, so just know that. Um, I'm also getting total freedom, Libra, I love that. But this sense of freedom, they're showing me those clouds again. Spiritual freedom, oh, interesting. You've been healing a lot of stuff, Libra. You've been dealing with a lot of shit internally, and I think that's also why you've been isolating yourself, a little bit of hermit mode. So not only have you been doing a lot of inner work, but you've also been doing a lot of 3D work as far as progressing and planning uh, your career, career especially, but anything else you want to plan, like a fun trip or vacation, uh, which is actually Mercury retrograde is the greatest time to do that. It's like, you know, retrogrades, <clears throat> excuse me, retrogrades are basically energies that help us review anything we need to take care of before we get propelled into something new or into the next thing or before we can actually advance which is why it always feels a little bit like a delay but anyway it feels really good it feels really really good so then we have this energy which i thought was interesting and i can't hold up these cards there we go five of cups scorpionic energy with the ten of pentacles virgo energy i freaking love these cards man i love these illustrations they're just so detailed 
Wait, what is up with that? Oh, that looks like an evil eye. Doesn't that look like the evil eye? Am I imagining that? Anyway, Libra, I feel like this Five of Cups energy is someone else looking in on your success that you're you're gaining here. People can tell you're going to be successful. They know. Just another reason to isolate yourself. Um, this could also be family related. It could be family that's feeling this Five of Cups energy. Five of Cups is usually grieving over loss. But to be honest with you, Libra, this illustration is not your typical Five of Cups. Usually with the... Oh, please focus. There we go. Usually with the Five of Cups... It's like they're looking at the Three of Cups and the Two of Cups is behind their back. They don't even see it. This person, mm, I got to be honest, Libra, I don't like this energy. It feels, I almost get like maniacal energy off of it, to be honest with you. It's like they're holding up a Two of Cups, like they're holding the connection in their hands. And it's almost like wishing loss. It's almost like wishing loss. Libra, definitely ice. Oh, yeah, with the evil eye. Thank you. Yeah, definitely isolate yourself. I think someone is trying to put some little bad juju on your success here or wishing you ill. They don't even have to be practicing um, the craft. They could just be trying to send you negative energy and like hating on you. You know, it could even just be that kind of energy. It could be someone in your family, Libra. Honestly, it could definitely be a family member, especially with that Ten of Pentacles energy. Ten of Pentacles, it is abundance and financial security but it is also about family stability and family cohesiveness as well and i really feel like there's someone up in this that's really wishing ill on you and your success and the fact that they're holding the two of cups uh for some of you the success is a relationship it involves someone um who's part of your soul tribe like a two of cups energy <sighs> This could even be an, an ex of yours, an ex or ex-wife or ex-husband who's wishing your you who's wishing your success ill, wishing you ill in your success. Where are my words? Wishing you ill in your success. They feel slighted, Libra. I don't know what that's about, but they feel slighted. They're very jealous. They're very envious. And I think this person is battling with some uh, depression of their own. And I feel like they're not handling it well. If, they're, if they are in depression, it's very mild. It's not very severe. Like, there's a spectrum. Um, and I'm not trying to judge anybody, like, who's dealing with depression. I deal with depression all the time. Um, but, yeah, it's, like, in their sadness, in their jealousy, in their feeling slighted by you or just feeling like it's unfair it, it's basically a hater we'll chop it up to them being a hater in all of that it's like they are actively wishing you ill you will probably feel this which is also why you guys are probably isolating yourself just be mindful that someone is like really hating on you in this in this energy just protect yourself like in the 3d sense as well especially if you're trying to start a business make sure that you're really keeping shit under under lock and under wraps here okay libra you don't need anybody fucking that up for you in, in a legal way i don't know why i'm getting legal all of a sudden but that's really how it's feeling to me yeah someone's up to no good sorry i'm not liking it someone's up to no good they see that you're going to be successful and they don't want you to have that stability they don't want you to have that success wow Okay, let's go ahead and get into the reading. For anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. It is helpful. If you have questions now, please go watch that video so you can have your questions answered. Okay. It's not a long video. It's short. Any messages for Libra regarding love? Any messages for Libra regarding love? July 22nd to the 31st. Any messages for Libra? I mean, didn't that look like in the car they were doing a little ritual? It was like, that's the energy I was getting. Anyway. Any messages for Libra? Regarding love? July 22nd to the 31st. <clears throat> Any messages for Libra? Regarding love? July 22nd to the 31st. Okay. Any messages for Libra? Regarding love? Libra. Justice in reverse. Libra energy. I'm getting legal matters here. 
please protect your yourself legally in whatever you need to do like in whatever way you need to whatever aspect you need to where you know something's gonna someone's trying to gun for you or someone's wishing you ill or wishing you to be a failure at whatever it is you're trying to get done for yourself or get right for yourself please protect yourself legally if you have to okay but justice in reverse a wrong needs to be righted major injustice has taken place libra and you know how y'all are about that <laughs> you're not standing for that for very long um this is also an energy of just you and your energy of all of a sudden i feel gemini with those pillars all of a sudden i feel gemini with those pillars you could have gemini in your chart you could be done with a gemini two sides two sides hold on a second I'm getting two different things. Libra, some some of you, some Libras here, or cross watchers, whatever, whatever. Uh, some people here feel like they're being pulled in two different directions. Uh, uh, being pulled in two different directions. What's really right? What's really wrong? Feels like a decision needs to be made here. Um, that's for one group. I'm picking up on another group here. Uh, where there's your story. And then there's like rumors, then there's like the false story, then there's the actual lie. It's, oh yeah, Libra, you guys know someone's gunning for you. So you know someone's gunning for you. I'm feeling this like energy of needing to defend yourself. Let's see here. We've got seven of wands. Wow. Leo energy, defending yourself. Five, <laughs> what is that? Five of swords in reverse, Venus and Aquarian energy. Six of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. Sorry, these are new cards. I can't really see them quite well yet. I need new glasses, I swear. And Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. Yeah, definitely defending yourself against some bullshit. Oh, Libra. All right, let's see what else we get out here, and then we'll get into these cards a little bit deeper. Yeah, you're not going to let anyone mess this up for you. Any messages for Libra? regarding love july 22nd to the 31st some of you this energy has not hit you yet like as you're watching it i can feel it i can almost feel you guys being like everything's going so well right now it it hasn't hit you yet for most of you this has not hit you yet any messages for libra let's see here got three more cards wow Ooh. okay we have lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. This is also my divine soul connection card. So whatever label you want to put on it, it's essentially a very, very, very deep soul connection, soul bond here, okay? So soulmates, twin flames, divine counterparts, that all encompasses that. But whatever label you prefer for your scenario. Queen of Wands, Aries energy, could also be fire or water. And three of swords in reverse. Whoa, that's a stunning three of swords. I'm just gonna look it up right for a second. Like I said, I like I prepped the deck, but I didn't like really get into the deck like the way I usually do because I was feeling so compelled to just use it. So I just went with it. But wow, look at that. It's kind of stunning, right? I like anytime they use actual like, you know, this, this is actually the anatomy of a heart, what a heart really looks like. I just, you know, I love that they did that. Anyway, total nerd. Three of swords in reverse, Libra energy. On the bottom of the deck, we've got ten of pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy. Libra, I'm nervous for you. I'm not going to lie. Oh my God. Underneath that, we've got the nine of swords. Gemini energy. <sighs> Libra, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. You're going to be fine. We're ending in healing energy. You know, you're defending yourself. You know, you're, you are trying to protect yourself here. I, I feel like it's going to go to a positive place. All right. So let's just get into these energies. Let's look at justice in reverse and see what's going on with that. I'm going to use Rider Waite to clarify. Tell me about justice in reverse. There's a lot of emotion going on in this justice in reverse card. I'm draw I'm being drawn to that green dress she's wearing. It just reminds me of the heart chakra. There's a lot of emotion wrapped up in this justice in reverse energy. A lot of emotion. So even if it's just like money related, um, it's something you carry a lot of emotion about. Tell me about justice in reverse for Libra regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about justice in reverse for Libra regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about justice in reverse for Libra regarding love. July 22nd 
Here you are, Libra, Queen of Swords. Libra energy could also be air or water. You are in your energy, you are grounded, and you're ready. You're ready, okay? Which is good. By the, whoa, Queen of Wands in reverse on the bottom. This Queen of Wands, I'm not lo loving their energy here. I'm really not, to be honest with you. It does feel uh, like they're... It feels like a romantic connection. Like there's like there's romance around this Queen of Wands. I'll say it that way. It's like they even if, okay, they could be an ex of yours, they could be an active lover of yours, or you could have shared a lover with this person. There's that's what I mean by romance energy around this Queen of Wands. That's like all the different energies I'm picking up on. Like either you two have the same lover at one point, or you know. Like maybe your your lover now is their ex, you know, it could be that, or they can be an ex, the Queen of Wands could be an ex of yours, or an active lover of yours. Either way, it's like romance around this Queen of Wands. Tell me about justice in reverse. Tell me about justice in reverse for Libra regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about this injustice. Tell me about this injustice. Ooh. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is loss of money, loss of an opportunity, instability. You feel like your, your success, your abundance is being threatened, Libra. Okay. I'm like, I'm in this with you. It's like, oh my God, I want to fight for it like on your behalf, Libra. <laughs> Tell me about justice in reverse. That's the Cancer Scorp combo in me. Tell me about justice in reverse for Libra regarding love. July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about justice in reverse for Libra regarding love. All right, so we got three other cards out here. We have Judgment, Fire Energy, also Scorpionic Energy for me as a reader. Whoa. We got a third person, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. I hate when there's more than two people involved in these readings. It's like, how many cooks do we need in the kitchen here? And then we have the hangman Piscean energy. Mm. Someone's on timeout. This Queen of Pentacles energy feels like they're on timeout. I'm getting a lot of shame. I'm getting a lot of shame coming off of this Queen of Pentacles. And the fact that they're in hangman position, it's almost like... I'll sit here and think about what I did. It's like there, there's definitely a lot of shame associated with this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this person might be the antagonizer in this. They, ooh, I'm just sure they have blood on their hands. Oh, I don't like that phrase. I do not like that phrase. They've got blood on their hands. I like, I'm, I'm guessing you caught them doing something or it's like, you know that they were at the center of this or it's like they have the most blame in this. It's like, they're, they're really at the center of whatever this is, Libra, of whatever this threat is that you're feeling of instability or that something's being taken from you. But they're basically being put on timeout to think about what they've done. <laughs> That's quite literally what this is. Even, even I'm, I'm getting that it's even like a divine intervention sort of thing. Like put this person on timeout to go and think about the bullshit they did and the bullshit they were up to. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. That is an energy of disloyalty, of being loyal to oneself. Selfish energy, very selfish energy. Overall energy for justice in reverse. We have page of wands in reverse. This is my bad news card. My bad news card underneath that, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, this is a straight up family member. And I hate to break it to you, Libra, but some of you, this is your own mother. This is a mother energy. Queen of Pentacles is usually the mother uh, court card here. <sighs> Damn, Libra. I want to get more details for you, though, because I know it's, it's probably going to be a little different for everybody, whatever this injustice is. But it's basically you feel like your stability, <clears throat> your money is being threatened. And it's because of this person. Let's use the Kipper deck and see what we can get. Oh my God, are we at like 18 minutes already? Oh, Libra, you're going to get spoiled. <laughs> Telling you guys right now, you're going to get spoiled. Let's see here. Interesting. Courtship. Courtship is usually the beginning of a partnership, business or love or otherwise. It could even be a friendship, right? <clears throat> Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me what they did. Tell me what this Queen of Pentacles in reverse did. Tell me what this Queen of Pentacles in reverse did. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm getting a lot of female energies. This could be between, I just got sisters, but this is also feeling like a mother energy. This could be between two sisters and a mother. 
or two siblings and a mother journey uh, with cyclical energy here. Ooh. This queen of pentacles is responsible for ending something, for ending a partnership that was just in its infancy. Okay, this is fabulous. All right, let's see what else we got here. I'm hearing someone's inner dialogue. You don't have my best interest at heart. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't care about me. You don't care about me. You didn't care about me. You never cared about me. Tell me about Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about Queen of Pentacles in reverse for Libra regarding love, July 22nd till the 31st. Let's see what we have here. <sighs> Marriage. Wow. Wow. And then overall, we have family room. This is about family issues or family matters. This is also basically saying that this, this energy is right around the corner. This is a timeline energy as well. By the way, 21 breaking down to a three. This is a timeline energy of 24 hours to a month out of, of watching this reading. Okay. Or it could have been a month ago up until now. But this energy, uh, with courtship, journey, and marriage. I, I feel like someone backed out of a commitment or ended a commitment prematurely. Like it was supposed to go long haul, whether it was supposed to be an actual marriage or a long-standing business relation. Oh, please focus. Or a long-standing business relationship or a long-standing friendship. Like something that's like lifelong. Something that's like decades. Something that was supposed to be decades long. Again, friendship, business partnership, or a romance uh, was ended prematurely. This queen, This queen is responsible for that responsible for that and they're being put on timeout to think about what they've done wow okay all right libra let's keep it moving let's go into this energy of where you're defending yourself you are definitely defending yourself you are you're you're mm, you're you're not you're not letting anyone get away with anything you're not going to allow anyone to take anything away from you as well let's see what we have here again oh yeah we have the five of swords in reverse Six of Swords in reverse and the Hermit in reverse. Hermit in reverse tells me that someone's coming out of timeout. It could be this Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles coming out here. Um, ooh, okay. Five of Swords in reverse is usually associated with forgiveness, with coming out of conflict. But Six of Swords in reverse is about, you know, chaotic times, having a little bit of a rough road, even fighting as well, okay? Um, you're very defensive against this person. You're very defensive against this person. I don't think you believe them. You don't believe them. Um, you really just want peace. You really just want peace, but you don't really believe you can really find peace with this person. They want forgiveness, though, but I feel like this conversation's not going over so well. But they're coming out of a timeout energy um, of, realizing they need to, uh, of realizing they need to say something. I almost wanted to say it, make amends, but I, uh, I think this Queen of Pentacles, or whoever this is, I feel like it's the Queen of Pentacles coming out of timeout to talk to you. Um, Mm. they have a lot of pride, which is why I'm like, mm, they just want to talk, which might actually piss you off, Libra, that they just want to talk. Yeah, you're very defensive against them. And again, I don't blame you. I do not blame you. Uh, let's look at Hermit in Reverse. I feel like we're going to get some uh, interesting information there. Where's a Gilded? Let's go for Gilded. And then we'll get into this Queen of Wands over here. Tell me about the Hermit in Reverse. Tell me about the Hermit in Reverse. Whoa, I just heard you played us. What? Us. You played us. Oh my God. Tell me about Hermit in Reverse. Oh, it's a truck. Hermit in Reverse. Tell me about. I, oh, I hate that sound. Uh, tell me about Hermit in Reverse for Libra. I. I am like so shook. By the way, that breaks. Oh my god, the third time. How how much? How many more times do we have to hear it? Um, sorry guys, I'm really sensitive to noise. Um, I'm I'm like so shaken by that. You played us, us. You played us. Tell me about Hermit in Reverse for Libra regarding love, July twenty second to the thirty first. I'm also getting with this energy, actually, that it's like when all of this blows over, whatever was ended prematurely, I think is going to get back on track and get and take off. Yeah, get back on track and take off. Tell me about Hermit in Reverse. Tell me about Hermit in Reverse for Libra regarding love, July 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about Hermit in Reverse.
Tell me about Hermit in Reverse. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo Energy. This is a research card, analyzation card, a student card, mentorship card as well. This person coming out of Hermit Mode has really, really, really looked over this situation a lot. And they've done a lot of research um, as well. With this research, I feel like they were talking to a lot of people, which is interesting to me. Because usually this is a very isolated energy. Wait a minute. I'm not, I'm not liking this energy. Talking to people or looking into people? Because I'm feeling like alone. I'm feeling like they're very alone in this. They were looking into people. Libra, I like, what is up with this person? I like, no wonder you're defensive against them. I'm almost feeling this energy of like snooping with this. Snooping snooping but looking into people like people in your life or people involved in this situation tell me about hermit in reverse king of pentacles taurian energy uh could also be earth or air this is definitely a counterpart to the queen oh my god is the accomplice what what is this a, is this a telenovela libra what 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 is going on here hold on focus there we go this person, oh my God, this person has got a partner in crime. <laughs> They've got a partner in crime. I'm just like, what? What? This King of Pentacles, this King of Pentacles is helping this queen find out information. Uh, I, uh, I'm baffled. No, yeah, you have a right to be defensive. You have a right to be defensive. This could even be someone's parents, like a tag team. <laughs> this could be someone's parents. Wow. Tell, oh, I'm amazed. Tell me about Hermit in Reverse. King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. I'm loving this energy. I'm loving this energy. This King of Cups energy feels really nice. This is love. This is love. This is not coming from the queen. No, not at all. This is not coming from the accomplices here. Okay. No, this is this is this is a very loving energy trying to come in here to you, Libra. I'm I'm feeling like this is actually the person where this thing ended prematurely with. Jesus, that was not English. Whatever ended prematurely, Libra, it was between you and this person. It was between you and this person. Let's see what else we got here. Tell me about the Hermit in Reverse. Tell me about the Hermit in Reverse for Libra regarding love, July 22nd. To the 31st tell me about hermit in reverse for libra regarding love this could definitely be one big fat court case for some of you guys all right let's see what we have here whoa for real okay we have literally two other kings that just came out king of swords in reverse aquarian energy could also be gemini or libra king of wands in reverse leo energy could also be um fire or air uh, oh oh interesting i'm getting counterparts with this they are the counterparts of each other aquarius and leo and then we had the knight of cups come out after that the piscean energy could also be water or fire i'm getting an apology i'm getting an apology from this king to you libra on behalf of all the bullshit that's gone down here this is interesting there's, pff, there's too many people involved in this um I'm getting an apology. It's like, whatever happened, Libra, whatever ended prematurely, it put both of you in this kind of energy at the time. At the time, it put both of you in this kind of energy. What? Oh, focus. One was being a little, I gotta be honest, Libra, with what I'm getting, because, you know, sometimes it takes two to tango in an argument. Uh, with this person, with whatever ended prematurely, and again, the Queen of Pentacles made sure this ended prematurely. They got they meddle, they got meddling energy up in this, okay, with this Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is responsible for basically influencing this person, influencing this person to fuck shit up, okay, with you. Um, King of Swords in Reverse is a very egotistical energy. It's a very selfish taking energy. Oh, please focus. Oh, there we go. I'm also getting a lot of harsh words from this person. It's almost like they were intentionally trying to hurt you. And then the King of Wands in reverse, I kind of feel like was more your energy here, Libra, um, where it's like you were just trying to gain, uh, regain control is what I'm getting, exerting your power. You were essentially standing up for yourself, but in a way it was coming off very shadowy because it's like you were you had to stand up for yourself against a shadowy energy. So they kind of brought your your vibration down 
their low vibrational energy brought you down in whatever happened between the two of you here, okay? But at the end of the day, Libra, they've got a lot of emotion for you and a lot of loyalty towards you, okay? And when this comes out about whatever... I don't know how this queen did this, okay? I don't know how they did this, but they did this. Um, they're going to get put on timeout. They're going to get in trouble, essentially, for this, okay? Um, and they had an accomplice here, an accomplice counterpart helping them out with finding out information. And the King of Cups, when the King of Cups finds out about this, they're basically going to come in and apologize for, for this energy that happened between the two of you, Okay. Overall energy, we have High Priestess in Reverse. Piscean energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader. Secrets coming out, secrets being revealed. Craziness. This is like the epitome of like of, of awful family drama, business drama. It feels very much like families involved in this. Underneath that, we do have the Page of Swords. Truth. Truth and more truth and more clarity being spoken. More truth and clarity being spoken. Also, something about watching here. Watching. This. Oh, seeing the King of Cups. I think the way this King of Cups found out is I think they actually came across something physically and saw something and they went like, what? And they put two and two together. And this Queen of, Queen of Pentacles in reverse gets in trouble for um, meddling, for meddling and fucking shit up between the two of you. And the King of Cups is going to come in and apologize, Libra. Wow. Okay. Let's move on to this last batch. Libra, you're, you're wearing me out. <laughs> You're exhausting me here. All right. So we have lovers in reverse with the queen of wands and the three of swords in reverse. Lord, where do I even start with this? This queen of wands energy is just like in the midst of this, of this pain and this, and whatever ended prematurely, whatever ended prematurely here. But I feel like it's, it's not your energy. Oh, thank you. God, I was like, <laughs> my guys just clarified for me. It's not your energy. It's how this King of Cups sees you. This is why they're coming in to apologize. And this is why this energy is coming in after this. They see you as someone who got a real raw deal in this situation. Okay. Like, and you, and you took it with as much grace as you possibly could, because you're standing strong in this. And like I said, it's not really your energy. It's how they see you. They see you as a queen of wands when you are a queen of swords which is not a bad thing. Queen of Wands energy is very attractive. It's very sexy. Like they really admire you, Libra. They really admire you and they really respect you for, for, for handling yourself in the way you did through this whole situation, through all of the bullshit, even like the lies. And it's like, this King of Cups got a raw deal too. <laughs> they pretty much got lied to as well. Um, and even as whatever ended prematurely, as it ended, you still stood strong you still stood strong. You were still very sophisticated, high class about it. That only made you more attractive to this king. And they see you as really healing from this situation as well. Okay? That's what that's about. That's what that's about. Yeah, I don't even feel a need to go into that energy even more after getting that clarification. And we're ending in healing energy Libra, which is beautiful. By the way, this is Saturn Libra energy to be specific. If anyone has that placement, if you just need that little bit of confirmation. But Libra... Yeah, you're 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 standing very defensive against this Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles duo, and as you should. They're up to no good. They're up to no good. I do not like this little tag team. Okay. Um, keep standing up against them. Keep standing up for your abundance, what you've built for yourself and the success you're coming into, because you fucking deserve it. All right. You deserve it. And no one should be able to take that away from you, especially if that success or abundance is a relationship. A romantic relationship, someone that you're probably supposed to end up with long term. Uh, yeah, you're entitled to that. <laughs> you're entitled to that. And even though it feels like a major injustice that you're finding this out, because I feel like that's why you're pissed, Libra. It's like you're getting word of this, of the truth of it. The truth of it. And only because this King of Cups is really finding out and coming and coming forward to apologize. And again, the energy of like, you played us. You played us. And they did. They did. They totally played both of you. Some of you, like I said, this is an actual court case. Some of you, this is a court case and that's why this truth is coming out. You might get summoned. You might get summoned and you might actually have to like go on the stand and defend yourself here, which is fine because at the end of the day, the truth is coming out. And if you did nothing wrong, you did nothing wrong, right? So let's get some advice for you, Libra. Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? 
It's like, who's betraying who today? Jesus. But definitely protect yourself, Libra, as much as you possibly can, okay? Any advice for Libra regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for Libras regarding this spread? I feel for some of you, there's a family business at play involved in this as well. Like an actual family business. Any advice for Libra regarding this spread? Okay. Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? <laughs> Wombat spirit, be at home. 68, that breaks down to, wait, what does that break down to? Wait a minute, why can't I do math right now? That's so weird. I usually can do math very well. 13, five, five, change, change of foot. While this might be shaking your world up, Libra, stay strong in your power, stay strong in your energy and protect yourself. You see, he's in a little bubble. He's in a little bubble. He's isolating himself. He feels confident. He feels strong. And he's not going to let anyone push him around. And especially because he is protecting himself. No one's going to penetrate that bubble. Protect yourself, Libra. Take actions to stand up for yourself in this. I know you will. I know I don't have to tell you that. But definitely try what you, try to do everything you can to protect yourself, especially for those where this is a legal situation. Okay? Any other advice for Libras? Any other advice for Libras? Let's see what we have here. Eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. 23 breaking down to a five. You got two fives, Libra. You got two fives. This could definitely, you know, accumulate. accumulate. Jesus, I can't speak, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, this could definitely build to a tower moment, which is when you get the news of this, the news of the truth here. But spirit is with you. They're also protecting you. They are protecting you, Libra, which is why you're going to end up in a very healing energy and the truth will be said and you will be okay in this. You will be okay in this because you are protected. You did nothing wrong. You did nothing wrong. You're protected in this. Don't worry. All right. But definitely take action to still protect yourself, you know? Any other advice for Libra? Any other advice for Libra? Regarding the spread. Okay, nice. Any other advice for Libra regarding the spread? We got one other card out here. Any other advice for Libra regarding the spread? Okay. Now we have Frog Spirit. 28 breaking. <laughs> My guides are cracking me out. They said, take out the trash. <laughs> Clear out the clutter. Clear out the clutter. Close out this chapter. Get rid of these toxic people, especially if they're your family members. You got to really seriously create some boundaries if these are your family members doing this to you. Um, but this is basically getting rid of all that crap, getting through all of this. You're going to get out of this relatively unscathed, Libra. It feels like it is ending on a fairly positive note, especially with this King of Cups coming in to apologize, you know, and basically becoming your ally. I also feel like this is the King of Cups energy as well. For some, I feel like this King of Cups is tied to like this this duo here this king and queen of pentacles i feel like they're tied to these two in like a family way like through blood or through money one or the other they got to take out their trash as well definitely purging 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 is going to be very key here to really put this behind you okay it's upsetting libra it's definitely upsetting don't let that you know create energetic blocks for you to where you know you don't get your abundance remember underneath that we have the nine of swords being worried that you're going to lose your success or lose what you build or lose even family stability. Don't worry yourself sick about that, okay? You're protected spiritually. Also do what you can to protect yourself three-dimensionally and even get evil eye, wouldn't hurt. Um, and then start taking out the trash, okay? Overall, we have starfish spirit open to infinite possibility. 59, that's another five, guys. You got three fives. Five, five, five. Tower. Um, this is a seven of cups energy. Libra, I'm telling you, when you get past this, especially with this king of cups coming in to apologize, by the way, another five underneath that. That's intense. Um, you're going to have so many opportunities. 
okay? You're going to have a lot of doors open for you. It's almost like, it almost feels like, you know, you're getting squeezed through a tunnel and it's just like, oh, this is really awful. This is, I'm hating this. I'm hating this. I'm like, oh, I can't, oh, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with this. And then boom, you're out. And then there's sun and there's light and you can just see everything for miles, almost like a 180 view, not 360 because you got the tunnel behind you, but like, like a 180 view. It's like, everything's going to open up for you. Okay. Close out this chapter, take out the trash emotionally and physically, protect yourself. Remember, you are very much protected by spirit in this because you did nothing wrong. And after this is over and you go into your new cycle and put this behind you, so many doors are going to open for you. So many doors are going to open for you. So Libra, it'll be okay. You're going to get through this. You're going to be fine. Um, and I hope that this reading helped you guys and I hope that it was very insightful for you. Okay. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you. And I will see you guys later. I always give me a heart attack when they do that. Bye Libra. Namaste.